Well, the attorney for the Alexandria Fire and Police Civil Service Board says that the board has not received a resignation letter yet for APD Chief Ronnie Howard, despite Mayor Jacques Roy saying last night that there will be a change in the position shortly. The mayor made that surprise announcement last night at the city council meeting, but did not elaborate any further. We tried to ask Mayor Roy some follow-up questions after the meeting as to why there will be a change in leadership and who would serve as interim and when it would go into effect, but we were told that the mayor was not available. The city told us today that the mayor will make a formal announcement at a later date, but didn't specify when. APD's current chief, Ronnie Howard, was appointed to run the department back in May of 2021 by former Mayor Jeff Hall. We spoke with Brian Suspiva today, who's the attorney for the Civil Service Board, who said that despite the mayor alluding to a change in leadership at the police department, they have yet to receive notice to begin the process of appointing a new chief. We have not been formally notified that there's any resignation in the process. Uh, assuming it does happen, then that will then kick the civil service system into gear. Uh, we will assume that there will be an interim chief appointed immediately to run the department. Suspiva said at the Civil Service Board does receive Chief Howard's resignation letter in the coming days. They'll contact the state examiner to create a test for the APD chief position. The police chief candidates will have to pass the test before their names will be sent to the mayor. Well, he'll have 60 days to appoint the next chief of police. And we're also expecting a new fire chief to be named at the Alexandria Fire Department any day now. Mayor Roy also mentioned this at last night's council meeting that the announcement would come shortly. Suspiva said that former Mayor Jeff Hall actually dropped the ball appointing a new fire chief. Former Chief Larry King retired back in November 2021, which was almost a year and a half ago. And in January of last year, the assistant chief, Curtis Beauregard, was promoted to interim chief, but that's where the process stalled. Suspiva said that Hall should have selected a new chief last July from the 18 applicants who applied. But eight months later and under a new administration, a fire chief has yet to be named. The uh, Hall administration simply did not appoint anyone, and I think they dropped this in the lap of the Roy administration. Now, my understanding from sources in the administration is they have jumped right on it. They've done a fantastic job of trying to fill that position as fast as they can, but this is not a problem they created. And Suspiva said that a new fire chief could be named by the end of the month.